guys, this is fourth tutorial, and I'm gonna see if you guys can keep up to speed on what I'm gonna put down right here. So this program is going to test a number, see if it's even or odd, pretty much by dividing it by two and seeing if there is a remainder. And if there is, it's even, it's odd, and if there isn't, it's even. Right, right, right. So this will go over a few things. It will go over a division uh, equation as well as doing a choice, like if this is equal to this, this. If else, wise does this. It'll make more sense once we put in. Right. So include again. Guessed it. IO stream using namespace std. Space int main right. then we're going to define two variables. We're gonna make int n, which is going to be our number, and int remain. So n will be the number that we choose and remainder will be pretty much the deciding factor of it being even or odd. So first thing that we're gonna put down here is Coat. And yes, I say like coat, but enter a number, and then sin or scene. I don't know why I keep saying it differently every episode, but we'll go get the number for n. So then our remain, our remain value will be equal to n. Divided by divided by two, and yes, that's not a divided symbol, but that's a percent symbol. And in C plus plus, that is our division symbol. So you probably want to keep that in mind. So what we have so far is asks for your number, gets your number, divides your number by two, and stores it under the remain variable. Get it? Get it? Get it? Good. So if our remain and this is where last time the double equal comes into play. If remain is equal to zero, then coat number is even. And do not put a, a semicolon right there or else it won't do anything after. It'll just, if the remain is zero, it'll do nothing. So don't put anything there. And so if the remainder is zero, it's even. If it's anything else, then it's odd. Simple math, right? Right. The number is odd. Okay. And just for purposes I'm gonna put new lines in there. Then after that I'm going to make sure sin will go get actually on every one for now I'm gonna define an integer variable it'll be end. Just so now whenever you see this, this is not important, this just is here to keep the program from exiting as soon as the logic is done on it. So return zero, wait, yep, and then closing curly brace. Now let's give it a whirl. So here's our program. Enter a number. Hmm. Let's enter an odd number first. Five. Number is odd. Good to know. Okay, now let's enter an even number. Number is six. Number is even. Good to know. Alright, so this is our simple yes or no, if or else program. We'll be going into way more depth on these because they're one of the most probably the most important parts of coding is if or else statements because that's in everything. Right, so that's the end of this episode. 
and you guys have a good day, night, Hanukkah.